What up? So this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. I weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And also if you are interested in tarot classes and you like the way I read, uh, you can sign up for such thing as well there. Uh, anyway, so moving to the spread straight away now, the first one here, which marks the topic of your week, Gemini, uh, that is to be the Hermit. Followed by the next one here, which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic. We have the Five of Wands. That's, that's very interesting. So uh, it's just the, the reading here points that there will be something very very unexpected happening here to you throughout this uh, particular week and it will be well well welcomed so moving next we have the challenges fingers crossed about this one that will be wow the king of cups interesting next one uh it is the gifts and the blessings that Tara is offering that is to be the four of wands Followed by the impression that you are leaving into the people around. Wow, that will be the six of wands for you guys. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance the Tsar is offering to you. That will be the four of pentacles. Very interesting. So the only card that is very difficult to interpret here it is the king of cups. Hmm. It's like the challenge. All right, so we're gonna figure it out together. Okay, uh, first couple of cards here. We have the Five of Wands and the um, the Hermit card. So what happens throughout the energies? It is that the energies are gonna throw your week into uh, extreme dynamic. Many things are gonna move around. Many things are gonna start happening here and there into your relationship, into your career, and. Uh, out of those many things which are happening many things as well are going to I don't want to say suffer but say go through a around turns career wise and relationship wise and that is that will be a uh, awesome week where unexpected things happening that are coming to your aid to save your job to save your relationship to uh, escape something difficult that you were trying to escape up until this point to lay down your idea and people see it as a competitive one to lay out yourself for example and people see you as a valid competitor as well for one position or another for one person or another and etc etc five of wands is the card where a huge uh, and even tremendous a amount of energy has been released you are to grasp upon it and you can use that momentum to once again a fix things that are lacking structure and that are lacking in generally a direction into your life and like i said something very unexpected is going to happen and it is amongst all of that say uh, dynamic you are to experience throughout the week and that thing which is to happen very surprisingly very unexpected is going to push you into quite of a substantial direction once it happens you are going to say to yourself this is exactly what I needed. This is exactly what I went, what I, what I have waited for, and I have to do that thing right. Because when it happens, your situation here with the hermit is going to be like, I have to approach it very intelligently with a huge amount of wisdom, because probably I am gonna have the same chance ever again. And uh, that being said. You are going to focus on, like I said, what is substantial for you, for your family, for your career life, for your finances, and etc., etc. And you are to withdraw from the ideas of the world and from the ideas of others. And it's just you're going to focus on one, on that specific thing, throwing everything you got in it so you can make it right. Because at the end of the day, even if there is no one there to applaud you for your accomplishments, that is, that is coming from the um, Hermit card, but that is not going to be true. 
because the impression you are leaving into the people around is humongous okay but uh, even if there is no one there to applaud you for your success that success itself is going to give you um, a direction in life that has a long-term prosperity that is always valid for the hermit card because this time around you not this time around but in this week you are to glue the pieces together I, I, it's like making one solid foundation for yourself and for your future as well out of the dynamic and seeming chaos that it is happening around because with the five of wands once again it will be a week full of surprises here and there and they are to be neutral by their own accord or by their uh, by their characteristics however you can use them like I said to force a turnaround into the fields of your life career relationship friendships you name it where you lack opportunities where uh, things are not going very well and you can use those opportunities those surprising events to reverse this uh, this course of action uh, or this course of course of events that it is uh, making your situation rather unpleasant so what will be the challenge here huh, we do have that person king of cups now by their nature they are very well tamed people in the sense of that they are very calm and they are very caring as well and they are very almost like a poker faced personalities where uh, caring from a point of that they are um, not neglecting stuff around okay uh, but their approach is very professional even when it comes to relationships as well now don't get me wrong king of cups they are capable of deep and profound love they are capable of huge emotional attachment to someone but at the end of the day the king of cups is the master of their emotions they even if uh, it is uh, even if they love somebody to the to the core of their bones if you will if they decide that not being with this person is going to be better for that person they will decide in favor of not being with them it doesn't matter that this is going to cause them a humongous um, uh, suffering and pain emotionally just for the reason of that it is good for the world they are gonna do it so these people despite of their emotions they are making well-found decisions for the good of all so why this could be a challenge well I do believe it's a challenge because that person itself for one or another reason does not show their emotional attachment to you or to your stuff it could be both ways or it could be simultaneously both ways <clears throat> and uh, um, another thing about the king of cups is that these people when they see worth in you they are offering you something uh, which could be said about uh, the same thing about the king of pentacles but king of pentacles always have a surreptitious intentions while the king of cups does not have surreptitious intentions that is the difference king of pentacles always has what to gain from it while the king of cups gives you the helping hand or the offer because they see you deserve it it's different and maybe that will be the challenge here uh, Gemini to show that you do deserve that help one or another way and like we said maybe this um, this tri trail here or ordeal you showing that you deserve it it is uh, to show how well you can manage all the dynamic and to make use of the surprising surprising events around so you can sort your life or whatever fields in your life are, are lacking opportunities so moving next we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings here that will be the four of uh, wands so four of wands here points well it's kind of like a very broad card so the four of wands the way i see it uh, in this um, narrative it is that you are to be blessed with the next stage in a sense of that uh, you have planned something well now you do have the dynamic to sprout your plan and to find ways how to manifest this and this and now that plan could start being materialized so you are going to be once again gifted with the next page or the next chapter of your endeavor which could as well uh, signify an engagement if you had troubles to 
find out how the uh, cumulative life in between you and your beloved one is going to go forward because for example one of you is jobless or because for example you didn't have a place to live together and etc etc uh, that could be also a reason that you are to be gifted like I said with the next chapter finding out how you are to sort that dilemma or or, or that issue around that um, factor here which is depriving you of uh, moving into the next uh, into the next stage in either way uh, four of wands is really a reason people to celebrate to celebrate excuse me which uh, it is because a, a successful finalization of a certain cycle in life and an important cycle of growth and then the next cycle comes around which is exactly what i said that you are to be gifted with the next stage of uh, your endeavors and uh, once again those endeavors are to be the endeavors you work for to sustain you work for to develop here as you are to be uh, granted with the opportunities through the energies of the week so hopefully you keep true to the topic and you focus on what is substantial for you and not what's you know everybody tells you to do because there is a reason why the hermit says that you have to withdraw from the ideas of others because maybe you can identify that you are following someone some alienated ideas not yours but implanted from somebody in your head next one it is um, what kind of impression people are going to have in you and uh, here we can exclude the um, uh, the property of the of the hermit that maybe there is no one there to applaud you because people will recognize you as a quite of a capable and successful person in one or another way people are going to be uh, I can't say really amazed, but quite pleased with your achievements. You can expect, for example, uh, a reward into your career. You can expect, uh, for example, an appreciation from your efforts. Uh, you can expect as well an approach from people that are finding you interesting and etc. etc. And last but not least here, you can expect a helping hand to come around with the six of wands you may ask me why that's the case because when you look at the card you can't see if this is a liberator or a conqueror okay so it could be both ways and if it is a liberator then uh, that means that people who are liberated they receive the help they needed and uh, uh, we're talking about the, uh, all about this into my uh, tarot classes. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that, that will be the way how people will take you. Uh, quite, uh, quite of a person uh, who can, uh, who can get, basically get the job done. And not just only that, but also Six of Wands leaves the, um, leaves the chapter or the tale unfinished, I would say, that you can go even for more afterwards. And probably that is why we have the King of Cups into a challenging position. That person needs you wants to see how far you can go besides what you are to accomplish throughout this week. And the final card here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering, Gemini. We do have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, and it is just something I said at the start of the reading. That is the week where you ensure your secure future moving forward. That is the strongest card showing you and asking you to do so here. So as soon as you identify what is substantial for you, your family, your job, maybe both as well, you know, your friendship, um, um, your social circle and etc. etc. You have to fight with, with teeth and with food and nails to sustain it because you can you have to only thing you gotta do is to adopt a defensive position about it it could be also about your ideas all right so kind of like you have a certain idea and people try to talk you out of it here or you have to fight with tooth and nails about your idea about your relationship about your career and about your friends so that being said gemini uh, or about your love as well now that i think of so um that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tarot reading, April 6th to April 12th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Uh, hopefully you can make a use of it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such uh, on uh, the very first page, front page, I mean, you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And also you can find a tarot classes section there. If you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read that way, I will get you covered from there. So uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around until, they, until then. 
stay safe and uh, bye.